Hello everyone. Today I'm lucky enough to be here with Britt McKellian and she has a YouTube channel. Can you tell us the name of your YouTube Work channel? Smart Lifestyle. Which you guys need to be sure to check out. And today we're doing some fun holiday hair. I'm really excited to show you this beautiful bow that we're going to be doing that you guys can recreate on yourselves or if you have a little girl it would look absolutely adorable on them. So are you ready? I'm ready. Hey, okay, let's get started. Yeah. Okay, so we've all seen darling hair bows made out of hair in all sorts of different ways. So of course I wanted to do my take on a hair bow and I think it is perfect for the holidays. So Britt has three girls. Do you think that they would wear a cute hair bow? Definitely. Have you ever tried anything like that? I'm not very good at doing hair. I can do ponytails and braids and that's about it. Perfect. But I will know how to after today. Yes. <laughs> so to start, I'm just going to start pulling some hair back. And I'm gonna leave a little bit of bang out here for Britt. Do you normally wear your mm -hmm, bangs, bangs back or forward? So I always feel more comfortable with hair around my face. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit back. If you guys like to pull it all back, that looks really cute as well. So I'm just pulling this hair back. And I'm gonna take this section of hair and just start back combing. So to start back combing. And if your hair is really soft, be sure to back comb and then spray it with some hairspray. Then I'm moving back here right behind that section that we just back combed. And do the same thing. I'm just gonna back home through these sides a little bit. Okay, so once you have that all back combed, you want to make sure that this doesn't look ratty and messy, so be sure to smooth that out. You want that to look big and soft. Now grab that section of hair that you just teased. Okay, and we're going to separate that into two sections and we're going to do a rope twist so we're going to take these two ends and we're going to twist them around in opposite directions so i'm just twisting them both in and then twist those around each other And then secure that with an, an elastic or a hair tie. And then take that section and we're gonna twist that a little bit tighter and kind of push that up to give it a little more volume. And so that you have this cute twist right here. You wanna see that right there. And then secure that with a bobby pin. And you want that to stay really secure, so if you need to add one or two bobby pins through there, go ahead. Okay, so now we're going to take this remaining hair and we're going to part that into two pieces, leaving this twist down in between those, just like that. And we're going to pull this hair up and around. And I'm gonna secure that into a ponytail and I want it to be close to this twist right up here. Okay, so now is a good time to smooth out any flyaways, make sure this is all smooth and looking nice. So what do you think? I think it looks good. <laughs> I'm impressed with the height. Do you like big hair? I do, but I can't. I have a really hard time doing it on myself, so I'm just paying very close attention to what you're mm -hmm. doing. What about your girls? Do you think you could do it on your girls? They have got very thick hair that okay. goes up and does, you know, it's pretty good. The only mm -hmm. thing that their hair doesn't do is it's not very good at holding curl. But I think right. this is a good thing for them. It's good. That is good. Okay, so once everything is smooth and the way that you like it, again, we're going to separate this ponytail into two pieces. And to add a little more volume, 
I'm going to back comb this section of hair. So this part of the hair is going to lay flat. So if you want to back comb your hair, make sure you do it on this side so that it doesn't look ratty. It looks really smooth on that side. Okay, so once we have our back combing done, we're just going to take that piece of hair and wrap it around our hand and wind it in, just like that. Okay, and then just secure that with a bobby pin. Your hair color is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. So is yours. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I wish my roots looked like yours. Oh, they do. What are you talking about? <laughs> I mean, yours are nice and blonde. Mine are a little grown out. <laughs> okay, and we're just going to repeat the same thing on the other side. Where are you thinking, where, does, where is this hair style good for? Is this like a holiday party? I think that it would be great for a holiday party or just every day. I'm seeing hair bows everywhere. I think that they've been around for a while. So I think you could wear it anywhere. I think it's super cute. It is really cute. I think it would be really cute for a dance. Mm -hmm. How old are your girls? 7, 11, and 13, and I think my 13-year-old would really like this. Mm -hmm. And I also think that it looks elegant enough that you can wear it as an adult. Like, I don't think that it's too childish, because so, it looks really, really pretty. Mm -hmm. Especially with that smooth back, it looks really pretty. So can you tell us a little bit more about your channel? Yeah, so I do a lot of information for moms who have businesses and who want to start businesses. Uh, a lot of information about social media, some stuff about parenting, and you know, a little bit about me. So my channel is just a little bit more serious than some of the other channels out there, but for anybody who's interested in making money or starting a business or getting into social media, it's perfect. Awesome. Yeah. And we're all kind of looking into doing something like that. So the more knowledge you have, the better, because you're going to be more successful. So be sure to check out her channel. Definitely. I'm just really impressed. That you, you're just throwing this up and so quickly, and it looks so good. <laughs> well, thank you. You're nice. <laughs> okay, so once we have our bow looking the way we want, we're going to use this rope braid, and we're going to wrap that around for the middle of our bow. So take that around. And what I'm doing with this end is just tucking it right inside of one of those loops there, one side of our bow. And then just bobby pin that on the inside. Okay, so once you've bobby pinned the end of your rope braid down in there, we're going to take this and just secure that up through here so you can't tell where it's bobby pinned. And of course, if you have blonde hair, you're going to want to use blonde bobby pins. I'm just going to take that and secure it down here, just to kind of bring that over so it's in the middle there. Okay, so that is it for our holiday hair bow. I hope that you guys were able to follow along with me and that you'll be able to recreate this look. I'm usually inspired by Gossip Girl for my hair tutorials, but how amazing do you think this would look on Lily Bass? So great. So I hope that you guys are able to do it and be sure to check out Britt's channel. She has so, so many great things on there. And also I forgot to mention her daughter who is ridiculously talented and she's never had a lesson. Never had a lesson. She has great music videos on there. So be sure to check that out. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being thank here. Thank you so much. So much Thank fun. you. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.